Alright, wow, I look a hot fucking mess. Well, that's what happens when you work Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. So, I originally was going to do a YouTube channel, and I was going to have it be about, like, caregiving. Because I took care of my father for the last three years of his life. He was terminal with COPD. However, that didn't happen to work out. I didn't make many videos. So now that he's been gone about three and a half years, and I've dealt with some crazy struggles ever since. Like, life was awesome for two and a half years. Then I got into this relationship. By the way, I'm about to go up a hill, so I'm going to be huffing and puffing as I talk. Then I got into this relationship. I don't even want to talk about it because I feel like I'll cry. It's only been about four months and I'm still not over it because my heart was broken, you know. But anyways, I kind of was thinking of doing like mental health awareness slash comedy channel. So myself, 34, I was diagnosed with bipolar in my early 20s. Originally at 20 years old, it was depression and anxiety. Then later in my 20s, it turned into bipolar and anxiety. Then it turned into drug addiction, um, because I also have chronic neck pain from a permanent neck injury, and huffing and puffing. And um, yeah, so now I would like, what are we in? April 2019, the week before Christmas, I was about to lose my apartment, didn't. <laughs> uh, lost the ex that broke my heart. Lost my job all at the same time. And I had what I call my mini mental breakdown. Um, I've been seeing a new psychiatrist for about four months now. I'm back on my medication. I have bipolar type 2, generalized anxiety disorder. Um, and I've now been told that I have some traits of borderline personality disorder. Before you judge, look into it and read about it. So, this will end quickly because I'm going to be at my house soon. And, yeah, I don't know if I'll even post this. But basically, I want to do kind of like a vlog. Mental health awareness. Put some comedy in there because I'm a crazy bitch. And I just kind of want to kill the stigma. And maybe this will help me get over that breakup. I I'm getting over it. But sadly, I need medication to do so. Uh, I live in Massachusetts, so uh, one of those medications is medical marijuana. Dropped a lot of weight where about four months ago when I was making this video, I probably wouldn't have this fucking double 900 chin, but I got it. It's back. Um, even though everyone's like, you look so good. Fuck you, don't lie to me. Just because you know I fucking came out of a mini mental breakdown, don't fucking lie to me. So yeah, I spent Christmas in a crisis unit. It's kind of like a respite, just to get away. Uh, they lied. The mental health services, it's ridiculous. If I want to get off drugs and get in somewhere so I'm not sick as a dog withdrawing from drugs, I can get in right away. But if I want some mental health help, like a psychiatrist, for things such as my bipolar, oh, you're going to be told four to six month wait pretty ridiculous and it's also um, really sad so I manipulated the system in order to get an appointment quickly and to get myself help quickly I obtained a job quickly um, I'm currently single of course as soon as the men found out I was single God was that Facebook inbox blowing up it's kind of gross but um yeah my heart was shattered and the only one who can fix it is a narcissistic dry drunk who put his hands on me multiple times and then left me when I needed him most. He knew what he was getting into when we got together. And I told him, I said, I just can't go off my Lamictal. That's my medication given to me bipolar. I was off of it. I was losing my shit. was begging him for his help. But apparently I was just too much to handle. And I am a lot to handle. So, and I guess apparently, and I do remember now, I guess apparently... In the end, he told me, oh, you told me in the beginning that you were going to make me hate you. Well, you shouldn't have told me you loved me two days after you got with me. You shouldn't have got with me when I told you that wasn't what I wanted. He was only supposed to be a fuck friend. All right, let's not make this whole thing about him. I'm Laurie, I'm 34, and I got a shit ton of mental health issues. And I'm going to see if I can make this vlog. Let's see what happens. I'm home now, so we'll make another one another time.